From the moment we were brought here in bondage in 1619, black life in this country has been defined by hard work. And our labor has generated success stories that deserve to be celebrated. Commonly, people refer to the 1619 Project as a history, but it's not a history. It really is talking about America today. The 1619 Project is a six-part docuseries that explores all aspects of American life through the lens of slavery. Each episode has its own story arc and has its own particular beat in history. We were told that by virtue of our bondage, we would never be American. But it was by virtue of our bondage that we became the most American of all. The very first episode is democracy, and it really talks about how black Americans has been the primary democratizing force over generations in this country. I want to be able to look back and say, I did this so that you didn't have to. That's what legacy is all about. The race episode deals with the idea that race is a construct that was made up to divide the powerful from the powerless. This is a power hierarchy, whether we're talking about where you live, what kind of job you can have, and just in general, how you're valued in society. The music episode is about how black music is in every aspect of American life. There's a whole cultural experience that is fascinating and foreign to white people. They are drawn to this music. The capitalism episode looks at the particular brutality of the exploitation of labor. I'm looking at the names of people and their value in the slave ledgers, and they're being listed literally next to a pig or a cow. It's something I'll never forget. The episode around fear examines the fear of black men and how that still plays out today. Jefferson was always worried about a revolution of the wheel of fortune. Mm. That is, we're on top now, but this thing can spin. The justice episode makes the argument that there is a great moral and financial debt that is owed to black Americans. You are calling for reparations. What is the total that would be owed? I've seen estimates as high as $14 trillion. That's a big number. Yeah. It's a big debt, though. It is a big debt. I think people are going to be compelled and surprised and hurt, but also come away with a newfound respect for the role that black Americans have played in this country. We are still here and we're still fighting. As long as there's life, we're going to have hope. What if America understood, after 400 years, that black people have never been the problem, but the solution?